Hey everybody, this is Tim Blank. I'm co-founder and chief technology officer for the Tower Garden Company. I'd love to welcome all my friends across Canada and around the world to this extraordinary virtual conference. Today I'm visiting one of my favorite tower farms where they're growing a wide range of extraordinary produce. Just look at some of this beautiful produce. We have some with a bib lettuce and some multicolored chard. You can grow so many amazing crops on the tower garden. There's some beautiful granny blank spearmint, uh, young rosemary, thyme, strawberries come up and wow, everything from a head of a lettuce to a beautiful beefsteak tomato to these awesome red peppers you see right there, absolutely incredible. And over on this side, we've got some oregano and green onions. There's some more oregano. Look at all these crops. Celery. Over here, we have some beautiful green baby kale. And this is actually a multicolored, multi-textured kale. Um, we even have some cilantro over here. One of my favorites up there. Thai basil, that, the chefs use these flowers to garnish gourmet dishes, and of course the leaves are used like regular basil. Uh, here's some bib lettuce, it's a little bit older, some green leaf lettuce, and oh my gosh, one of my favorites, purple choy. All these crops in here are growing using up to 98% less water on 90% less land, and absolutely no harmful chemicals. And right over there, they're harvesting produce and it goes about 50 feet over to the farmer's market they have on site here. And for all the produce that is not sold at the farmer's market here, it's delivered to restaurants and grocery stores within a 10 mile radius. Now think about the positive impact that has on planet Earth. The power of tower garden and vertical aeroponic growing is extraordinary. These gardens don't require bending, weeding, and tilling, and you don't wait a whole season to get a crop. In fact, all these crops I just showed you from transplant to harvest is only two to four weeks. And this extraordinary farming technology is scaled perfectly for indoor growing for residential homeowners. So next I'm gonna walk inside and show you some amazing tower gardens with state-of-the-art LED grow lights that are perfect for growing indoors during that long, cold Canadian winter. Now think about what I just said. When everyone else's garden is shut down and frozen, your garden indoors is growing these perfect, beautiful, healthy crops. Think of how many friends you're gonna make at home this winter. All right, I'm standing indoors next to our beautiful tower gardens called our Tower Garden Home. Now these are perfect for indoor growing because they use the same great technology that you saw out in the commercial production greenhouse, but it sits on a little bit smaller base. The base of this tower garden is only 24 inches wide, so it's perfect for replacing an end table, a vase, or a chair, something you have sitting in a corner. It tucks into a room very well. But believe it or not, on that 24 inch footprint, we're packing a whopping 32 plant sites. So take a look. Down in the lower level, we have 16 large space plant sites. And up above here, we have 16 baby green plant sites. And I'll talk to you in a little bit more uh, in this presentation on what we plant there and how we use those plant sites. Let's talk about some of the other cool features. These LED lights are full spectrum, meaning they have everything that the plants need for good photosynthesis, which helps them grow quickly. So these are low wattage, but highly powerful LED lights. They're rated for 50,000 50, hours, so they're gonna last a long time. And uh, let's take a look at the base, some other really cool features. We have these really cool wheels built right into the tower garden. So if you wanna, you know, let's say you have this in a room next to your kitchen and you wanna roll it right into your kitchen to do some cooking, you can do that. I love keeping my tower gardens next to the kitchen. And then right here is the access port lid to the reservoir. So let's take a look inside. Inside that reservoir is a low wattage submersible pump. Now that's gonna turn on for five minutes every 40 minutes. 
And this tower comes with this little timer over here on the wall and it's pre-programmed for you. You don't have to do any work. Now when that pump turns on, it's going to take water mixed with some very potent, powerful nutrients. They provide everything that the plant needs to grow. They also provide a lot of important things that are good for human nutrition. Now when that, when that pump turns on, it's going to pump water up the center of this tower and it's going to flow right into the shower cap that sits below this. And then for five minutes, it's going to rain down on the roots of those plants. That's the power of aeroponic growing. We're providing maximum amounts of water, nutrition, and air, and that helps these plants grow super fast. And you know what else is cool when we're growing indoors? The Tower Garden Home has this little um, reservoir water level indicator. So as your water level drops, this indicator goes down when it gets down to about halfway we're just going to add five gallons of water and it pops right back up so there's a lot of very nice features that come with your tower garden home and again we can grow beautiful clean pesticide free food all winter long you know people always ask me tim what do you love to plant in your tower garden what is your family like what are your kids like well we have, put, we have a few tower gardens. We have tower garden flex outdoors when the season is right. And of course we have tower garden home indoors year round. So I love having a theme. I love having a tower garden with a purpose. If I align it with our healthy living lifestyle, I guarantee I'm gonna be harvesting off these towers a couple times a day. So for example, right over here, I have a salad tower on that tower garden home. That was recently transplanted and down below in those 16 large plant sites, I have butterhead lettuce, green lettuce, uh, red leaf lettuce. And then up in the baby green area, I have all those wonderful salad toppings, spinach, green onion, basil, parsley, uh, missing a few there, kale, dill. So lots of things that I love using as salad toppings. And by the way, a lot of those herbs I have planted up top there, I can also use in many of the cooking recipes that we uh, use at home. Now over here, I have a juicing tower. Now our family does a smoothie or juicing every single day. It's the first thing our girls start their morning with. And so down below, we've got some beautiful uh, Toscano kale, some multicolored chard, uh, some of that beautiful celery there. Look at that. Wow, that, I can smell that celery just moving it around. And then we have the other things that we like cooking with up here. And, and I'll tell you, I've got some basil back here. And wow, I mean, you just touched, the, you can... <laughs> The potency is so incredible and you can smell the nutrition. So now let's say you're just starting off with one tower garden home. I'm talking to many people out there I know that have a couple, but let's say you just have one. You could literally have half of it for salads and half of it for juicing. In fact, if you wanted, you could literally plant 32 different plants on there because our extraordinary aeroponic uh, tower garden mineral blend is a one size fits all. Again, you can grow everything from a beautiful head of lettuce to that basil plant, to the pepper, to the beef steak tomato. So that's a very powerful thing. All right, well next I'd like to move into my presentation and share a few more important things with you about the Tower Garden Home and the Tower Garden Flex. Next I'd like to talk about Tower Garden Flex. Now Tower Garden Flex is the original Tower Garden unit that we developed for outdoor growing and we've been improving and enhancing that further over the past 10 years into the beautiful food growing machine that it is today. And Tower Garden Flex was designed for growing a wide range of crops like you see there, everything from a beautiful eggplant to the char to those uh, giant squash down below and some strawberries up top. And the idea with Tower Garden Flex was to make gardening fun and simple. Traditional gardening requires a lot of bending, weeding, tilling, and laborious work. The Tower Garden Flex, the idea is to sit, watch, listen, and enjoy our Tower Garden while it's doing all the work for us. At Tower Garden Flex, you can stack real tall to several different heights, like you see right there. And then we can even grow big bushy crops like tomato and tomatilla and giant pepper plants. We even have some ancillary wheels for the Tower Garden Flex. People take them to shows, events, and farmers markets, and I mean, what garden, what other garden in the world could you roll to a farmer's market, cut off all the produce, and it's grown back out in a week or two at your house? Quite incredible. Now, over the years, our customers in Canada and the Northern US fell in love with tower gardening. 
and uh, they did not want their season to end. In fact, our friends in Canada demanded that we come out with some grow lights. So several years ago, we developed these state-of-the-art LED lights that I just showed you for the Tower Garden Flex. Now for some people, the Tower Garden Flex was just a little bit too big for growing indoors, getting through internal doorways or finding a spot for it. So we developed the Tower Garden Home. Now Tower Garden Home comes with everything. It's a little over five feet tall. It's only 24 inches wide. So it's quite a bit more narrow than the original Tower Garden Flex, but the planting area is still the same. So this makes it real easy for us to tuck it into a corner or to remove an end table, roll it around indoors. It has those locking wheels I showed you. And it packs 32 plant sites on 24 inches. So really, it's a vertical plant condominium. Now, down below, we have the 16 large plant sites like I showed you, and up above, we have the 16 baby green plant sites. And so next, I wanna talk about the power of baby greens and why we put those smaller plant sites or closer space plant sites up in the penthouse suite for you in the tower garden home. Well, baby greens are all the food he craves right now. Here's a greenhouse uh, using our uh, tower gardens. This is a vertical farm on a rooftop in downtown Denver growing all these tens of thousands of baby greens for more than 50 restaurants and local markets in Denver. And uh, baby greens are just the bite-sized version of a more mature leaf. Uh, they're gonna be more tender, palatable, and have a wide range of flavor and potent nutrition, and people absolutely love them. And they really spice up a lot of dishes. So next, I wanna show you how you're going to use that baby green area for different types of themed tower gardens. So let's say we have an urban cooking tower. We've got those 16 baby green plant sites up there. So those areas for growing are perfect for those herbs that never were that big, like chives, green onion, thyme. On your right there, you see parsley or cilantro. Those can be cut back and, and kept petite. And the secret with the baby green area is that we wanna cut and we wanna cut, and we wanna recut. We wanna constantly be pruning from that area to give all those 16 plants plenty of space to grow. And there's a great example of an urban cooking tower and one of our tower garden families that just loves to use it in their kitchen every single day. All right, next I wanna talk about our juicing tower and how we would like, say if you have a tower that's specifically set aside like our family does for juicing or smoothies, up top there in the baby greens area, you can plant a bunch of uh, phytonutrient rich greens, uh, you know, those greens that have that velvet and the red colors, and those are great to add to that juicing or that smoothie every single day. You know, a little over a year ago, I, I was on the Harvard Medical School website and I came across this blog. <clears throat> and you could check this out if you like. And it was all about painting your plate with the colors of the rainbow when you select your food. And I picked two important sentences from that blog that really stood out for me. When humans eat plant foods, Phytonutrients protect us from chronic disease. Phytonutrients have potent anti-cancer and anti-heart disease effects. So these phytonutrient-rich foods that are locally grown, highly nutritious, and free of pesticides can also help keep us super healthy and protect us from chronic disease. I really, really love that. And so there is a great example of the juicing tower. This is something I shared with you my family and I do every day. All right, next would be a salad tower. How would we use that baby green area on a salad tower? Well, up top, we can plant all kinds of really cool greens like colorful kales and mustards and Asian greens and that red, that red leaf dandelion that you see on the right. Now, we're not gonna do a whole saddle, salad of those, but we're going to cut those up, throw them on top of our salad and really turn an ordinary salad into an extraordinary superfood. And this is a great example of the salad tower. It looks just like the one I just showed you. We've got some green and red leaf lettuces that we use in the body of the salad. And then up there in the penthouse, we, we got all those phytonutrient rich foods with all those extraordinary flavors to throw on top of the salad.
Now the tower garden home also doubles as a demo or three pot tabletop unit. And we did this because over the years, so many of our partners would bring these tower gardens to events and say, we just love it, but you know, it would be great if you had a little bit smaller unit that could serve as a demo. So a few years ago, the director of Tower Garden, Steve Williams and I, as we were making the final decisions on Tower Garden Home, we said, why don't we split up the rods in the center so we could just have a three pot demo unit. And this is incredible because we can now take this unit and lay it down in the back seat of a Honda Civic or a small car or a medium sized SUV, three pots tall, that is that the dome shaped four lid that is self standing and we can fit the reservoir base and then just bring a couple gallons of water and you're good to go at any event. And I recommend if you do a demo unit, do two of the standard pots and two of the baby green pots so you can show people what it's all about. Now, since we've introduced this over the last year, thousands of our partners across North America absolutely love this and they've really enjoyed the opportunity to easily share this at, at events across North America and they've really inspired healthy living and so many others. Now, Jessica and I really love being able to have a supermarket at home right there in our own kitchen and, you know, growing year round indoors is so fun. And it is so enjoyable, especially if you have kids. You know, our kids were born into tower gardening. That's all they know. And they absolutely love it. You know, it's a scientifically proven fact that kids that grow their own fruits and vegetables eat more fruits and vegetables. And because it's fun and simple, they really, really love it. It's the iPhone of gardening. Now, I want to leave you with one final thought. And I always get this question. Can I, if I buy a tower garden home, can I grow outdoors? And the answer is absolutely you can. The tower garden home is made with the same great food grade plastic that's UV stabilized for outdoor use. You can take that supermarket and move it out onto the patio. In fact, it's perfect for a lot of you that live in high rise condos or apartments and you have those very small balconies. Many of you are gonna prefer the tower garden home because it takes up so much less space. Some people love it because it has a different, more artistic, modern look to it. Now, one thing I wanna point out, um, you need to make sure that your patio or your balcony has sufficient light throughout the day. The lights that you can buy for the tower garden home are rated for indoor use only, just like any other kitchen appliance you have. Those are rated for indoor use only. So we need to keep those lights for indoor growing only, but the tower garden home itself can be moved outdoors. Well, that wraps up my presentation and thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope I've shown you today how fun and simple and easy gardening at home year round can be even in Canada during the winters. Now, I wanna leave you with a few final thoughts. Remember when I was in the greenhouse and I was talking about food transportation miles? Well, growing food at home is taking it even one step further. I want you to think about something. Every time I'm harvesting a beautiful head of lettuce or a beautiful bunch of kale, I've eliminated up to 10 gallons of water. I've eliminated the diesel tractor that it took to maintain and harvest all that food. I've eliminated the petrochemicals and pesticides that were sprayed on that food. I've eliminated the plastic wrapper, the sticker, the cardboard box, all those heads of lettuce are put in. I've eliminated the shipping from California all the way across as far as New York and my hometown of Orlando, Florida. I've eliminated the room that all that produce is chilled in. And I've eliminated the gas that I'm gonna go out and turn on my car and drive to the grocery store. So you can not only make a difference for your health by growing with Tower Garden at home, but you're making a difference for the environment you're helping planet Earth get just a little bit healthier. And if all of us are doing this, we're creating mass change and we're having a positive impact on planet Earth, just like you see what's happening with electric cars today. So next, I would like to introduce a very special speaker. Her name is Kim Eman. Now, Kim, I met 10 years ago this month at our convention in Orlando, Florida at the Gaylord Convention Center. I had just finished building a vertical tower farm for Dr. Jan Young, who lived in Eustis, Florida. 
and she loved the tower garden so much she wanted to bring them to the juice plus company so she said tim i'd love to i'd love for you to come and meet the owners the founders uh, jay martin and eldon and many of the others and uh, I'm going to bring a couple towers and show them what's going on. So I said, sure. And boy, was that a fun night. We came to the Gaylord Convention Center. There was five or 6,000 people. We got to see Bear Grylls speak. Uh, you know, he's one of my personal favorites. Jan Young introduced me to her extraordinary team, and I got to meet Kim. And back then, you know, Kim grew up in Saskatchewan, Canada, and I grew up in rural North Dakota. We grew up in, we both grew up in rural farming communities. So we both know how short the growing season is, how difficult it is to grow food in that amount of time in that rocky, tough soil and pulling weeds and all the things that we got to deal with gardening, especially in that region of the country. So Kim, like many other people on Jan's team, when they saw the tower garden, I mean, it wasn't even available yet, but they saw it at a conference and they were like, wow, I want to be part of this. I want to... I mean, that gardening looks way easier than what we're doing outdoors, even, you know, even if some of them could garden. So Kim was one of those folks who started with one the next year when we launched it. Today, Kim has 10 towers in a greenhouse, and she is just an extraordinary example um, in her local community about, you know, how to grow your own healthy food at home. She's even growing little seedlings for tower garden customers all over Canada. So... Anyway, Kim is really important to our company, and I'm so excited that she can share her story with you and tell you a little bit more about her journey with Tower Gardening and how she uses it in her own home.